some of you who've always wondered, what is this periodic table? Well, the periodic table helps chemists. It is a great tool to organize information. Do you know like how you predict an ending to a story? Well, wherever something is on the periodic table, a scientist can predict what that chemical is about. So for example, what, I, what do I mean about predicting? If you have a look at your periodic table, you will see it is divided into three different colors. This one's a very pretty one. I know the one in your textbook is these three different colors. Okay, so color number one means all of those items in this yellow or mustard color is a non-metal. All of the items in green are semi-metals. And then lastly, we have got our metals. On this one, we have got some blue. So we would have our non-metals, we would have our semi-metals and our metals. So what exactly goes onto the periodic table? All of these blocks here, here's an example of a block, are called elements. It is something in its purest form. It's not a mixture, it's a pure substance. Okay, so one of the elements on the periodic table is carbon. The C stands for carbon. It's usually derived from English, but sometimes it can come from a different language. I shall show you an example shortly. Then you have this top number over here, 6, which is known as your atomic number. This shall be explained to you in a higher grade. And at the bottom, underneath the C, you have got your mass number. So let's just recap each element. Okay, the C stands for is the symbol. It is your symbol for carbon. The number 6 is your atomic number. And the number at the bottom, 12.011, is your mass number. Not so difficult, eh? So now... Where is carbon on my periodic table? If I have a look very closely, carbon falls under a non-metal and here it is over here. Here is my element of carbon. Okay, my atomic number, my symbol, my mass number. If you have a look over here, you will see silver is symbol is a G. Okay, it comes from the Latin word argentum. What would you say is the atomic number? Can you see the number at the very top is 47 and the number at the bottom is your mass number, 107.87. So basically all of these elements are put on the periodic table in a very clever way with their similar properties. Okay, so how do I read a periodic table? Well, there's two main important things that you need to know. Can you see you've got numbers on the side over here? Number one is period. These are all going across. So there's three. So if I have a look at carbon, can you see that carbon is in period two? Okay, so it's in line two over here. If I go like this, if I had to look at silicone, Silicone is in period three. Then I've also got rows going up and down with numbers on top of them. So if I have a look at our carbon again, carbon, carbon is in group number 14. So let's just get this straight. All the ones going across are known as periods. All the ones going up and down is known as groups. Okay, so you might get a question saying, what elements are in the same period as carbon? So you can put your ruler over here. Remember, period is going across. And you can choose any one of these. Lithium, um, beryllium, boron, carbon, nitrogen, oxygen, fluoron, and neon. All right, and then what elements are in the same group? Remember, group is going down as carbon. Okay, and then you can read all of these ones over here are in the same group as carbon. Another question that you may get, as you can see, this yellowy color, this mustard color, is non-metals. 
So I might ask you, what other non-metals are in the same group as hydrogen? Here is hydrogen. And remember, group is going down. Can you see there's no other mustard colors going down? So there would be none. But if I ask you, what other elements are in the same group as nitrogen? So what looks like it's the same color as nitrogen? Can you see that it is phosphorus? This is the most difficult part of the periodic table. And this is what you will need to know for grade 7. Not so bad, hey? Thank you for joining me today on learning all about the periodic table. Hope you had fun.